a little bit of SWV. Wow. But listen, before we get into any of that, I mean any of that, we got none other than the big homie A.V. on the line. <laughs> that's, all, that, my... that's all. How you feeling, my guy? Oh, man, I'm doing great, man. You know, I'm really excited about this record right here, man. It's a real good vibe, man. Um, you know, I'm getting a lot of good reaction off the record, so I'm, I'm doing great, man. Oh, okay. Listen, great. Well, of course, as you know, we have the record here, and right. we've been playing the record. Right. Uh, listen, bro, I'm I'm really feeling the record. I like the record. But before we jump into the record, of course, you know, we just wanted to take some time and hang out with the boy AV. Is that all right with you, my guy? <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, for sure. All right, so listen, you know, before we jump into this thing, man, let's talk about the name AV. How did you get the name okay. AV? What does it stand for? Shoot. Right. Well, yeah, AV actually is short for Avenue, uh, where I'm from, Kansas City, Missouri. Um, everybody that knows me, they know me from the back street. And, um, oh, they know you know, you that's from how the I block. Kind of got, <laughs> they know me from the block, so, you know, they called me Av, you know, for the longest. So, you know, uh, AV is just short for Av, you know, Avenue. So that's how I, you know, got my name from the block. Everybody calling me Av. Oh, so, okay. yeah. Right, that's, oh, that's but crazy. what can your fans right. expect from you in the very near future? Well, yeah, um, you know, during the pandemic, it's been kind of hard. You right. know, trying to, you know, get things done. But um, uh, like more music, definitely more music is coming okay. out. Uh, yeah. With the T-Rail record, I'm going to be pushing real heavy. Uh, you should be expecting the music video coming out soon with that. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm in the Double XL uh, magazine. Uh, shout Ooh. out to the bouncer, man. Okay, hey. that's what's up, man. Mm -hmm. That's a dope magazine. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. So you say that you're from the Midwest, right? Right. That's our uh, magazine. You, you, you're breaking up. Say that again, my guy. Av. Did we lose I feel like it's a, a good record. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. You you were breaking up. Say that one more time. I said I'm really trying to uh, push this ocean record. It's a real good record. I want to yeah. get the visual done with it and I'll push it real heavy. Okay, so you you stated moments ago that you're from the Midwest. Is right. that correct? Yeah, that's correct. All right. So with that being said, is it safe to say that your style of music and just your overall style and drip period is influenced by, influenced by the Midwest? If, and, and if it's not influenced by the Midwest. Where are you gaining your musical influence as well as, you know, your dripping your swag? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Uh, well, I'm, like, very versatile. I, I stand out from a lot of different artists, like, from my era. era. Okay. Um, um, my style, I, I kind of get, like, my style from, the, you know, people that I, you know, like to listen to, you know, as far as, like, uh, Kodak, uh, you know, a lot of down south rappers, a lot of east coast rappers. Right. I just like to, you know, take a lot of different styles and genres. Yeah. The Bruce Lee, you know how Bruce Lee like did his fighting style. He would like to learn every fighting style as possible and make it his own. That's right. Form it into his. So yeah, that's what that's kind of trying to do. And I just like actually tapped into the melodic rap, so I'm like actually working on that a lot. You know. Yeah. It, it, with, it, with the melodies. It's funny you you use Bruce Lee as an analogy because that's exactly what he did. He took a bunch of styles, Taekwondo, right. a little bit of uh, Jiu-Jitsu, and right. he formed his own style called JKD, which is Jeet Kune Do. And believe right. it or not, I'm actually a student of the art Jeet Kune Do I've been practicing oh, for quite wow. some time. So, yeah, it's funny you mentioned that. Go ahead. Right. Look, a Yeah, bit. so that's how I kind of, like, look at my style. Like, okay. you know, kind of like how Bruce Lee, you know, punches, punches his fight. Yeah. Style. So, listen, my guy, listen. You've you talked about the creative process. You talked about some of the projects and the things that you're working on. Now, what's the motivation behind it? What's 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 uh, what's pushing all of this right now? What's going uh, on in your life right now? Talk to us. I mean, the motivation that's pushing it is definitely my mom. She passed uh, like four years back from cancer, and you know, she was a real big supporter of my music and. You know, I just, you know, I'm doing this for her and for my family. They real, real big support okay. for my music. Uh, shout out to my, you know, wife. She's a real big supporter of my music. So the right. motivation coming from all this is, is this them. Like, I want them to see that, you know, if I'm able to make something happen, they can do it too. You right. know, I want to show people that, right. you know, 
it don't matter what you do in life, as long as you put your mind to it and work hard at it, right. you can accomplish anything you want. Yeah. Gotcha. So I have to ask, who okays your records? Meaning, when you go in the studio and you put, you know, you got the beat and you go in the studio and you do your thing, you come out and you let your people listen to the record, your collective. Yeah. Who is that one person that you say, okay, this person said the record is a go, so it's a go? Oh, yeah, definitely my team, man. Like I said, shout out to the bouncer, man. I like, you know, I'll shoot him the record. Okay. I ask him like, what he think about it. Shout out to my wife, man. I, like, as soon as I get done, I ask her about it. I ask, you know, you know, my big brother, you know, shout out to Mickey Mantle. You know, he uh, plays a lot of part of the creative process. Okay. So. As soon as I saw him the record, he said, man, this song right here. They already this knew is it. it, man. You, yeah, he already knew it. That's so what's up. I just, you know, yeah. Yep. So, A.V., this this your girl, Nunu. How you feeling this evening? Uh, how you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. Yeah, Thank you yes. for asking. Um, so have you uh, opened up for any well-known artists or not yet? No, as of... Uh, Lately, no, I haven't opened up with uh, for any artists. Uh, Not yet. Previously, it's before coming. I, 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 yeah, it's coming. Uh, I opened up previously before for Jim Jones before, but okay, that's, um, that's what's up. Any artists that you'd like to work with that you wanted to share with us? Uh, yeah, I want to like work with a lot of uh, Midwest artists, like uh, real, uh, you know, as I'm working with him, Tech Nine. Uh, that's right. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, anybody for real. I mean, from the east, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, put my music and stretch my name and put it out there, you know, as far as like in different coasts and stuff. So I'm not really like particular, like kind of like specific, like a specific artist. But, right. you know, uh, OK, just to name a few. I know uh, an artist named F.S. Rudy. OK. He's, uh, I don't know if you guys heard of him. I've heard of him. Yeah, so I'm actually, uh, I got a record that I'm trying to work with him on, so you guys can probably be looking out for that in the near future. So, okay, that's what's yeah, up. This, yeah. Okay, so I, I have to ask this question. So, you know, as we listen to this record, this Ocean's record, man, the record is well put together. Great record. I'm looking forward to diving into it uh, here momentarily. But I have to ask, when did you decide to take this thing professionally? When did you say, you know what? I can make it at this rap thing, at this rap game. Oh, at an early age, man. Like, uh, shout out, big shout out to my teacher, Miss Austin, man. Like my elementary teacher, my my grade teacher, man. Like, real, because like a lot of people, I see a lot of people going to interviews and they be like, "Forget my teacher," like I told me I was never going to be nothing. Oh, wow. But right, my yeah. teacher actually, he actually gave me that motivation and told me, you know right, what, you're going to yeah. be somebody when you grow up. So. After a while, like, I hooked up with this guy, and, uh, you know, he was managing me for a while, and I actually started doing shows, okay. like, dance around my, my local area. So the first time I actually performed, yeah, that experience was so amazing. I'm like, man, I got to do this. Cause the, the reaction I got from the crowd was just amazing. So after that, I was like, man, I got to take this more serious. Cause, you know, I'm getting crazy reactions from everybody. Gotcha. Now, how, how old were you? How old were you when you uh, you know, when you wrote your uh, your first rhyme? It's kind of vague. It's kind of vague. Okay. I used to carry. I used to, used to have like a Jordan shoe box full of wraps, like with the uh, gotcha. protect the cover <laughs> sleeves and everything. Yeah, I used to have them all like dated and everything. Okay. All right. Cool. Now, are you more of a writer? Or are you more of a freestyler? Uh, I'm more of a writer, but you know, I, I work. I used to freestyle a lot with my friends. Like we used to, you know, get off the bus and okay. I used to do freestyle battles like uh, at different venues, but I like to write, you know, because I like to write short stories and poems and stuff. So I like to, you know, everything to make sense. Like even with my style, I'm versatile, but I, I like to uh, like like how Slick Rick do like storytelling. Yeah, storytelling, absolutely. One of the greatest yeah, storytellers like to- of all times. Right, yeah, big big shout out to him, man, because that's another person you could say that probably motivate me with rapping, like just listening to different people and just, just say different stories, and you know, it's that's real motivation, man, to, you know, for people to hear my story. So absolutely, yeah. So listen, before we introduce this record, man, um, I got a couple more questions. Uh, go ahead and give it to me, man. Your top five dead or alive? My say it again. 
My top five MCs? Yeah, your top five MCs, dead or alive. Uh, dang, that's a that's a good question, man. So you saying new artists or, or it, old it artists? It doesn't matter, or doesn't... dead or alive. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, so I say your yeah, uh, top five. My number one got to be Tupac, okay. of course. Uh, Biggie. Okay. Nas okay. as the third one. Okay. Uh, to bring out a new one, little baby, he's okay. so hard right now. Okay. And I say, uh, I say Kodak, man, because Kodak bring that pain, man. He brings the pain in the, in his in his in, uh, in his stories and stuff. You I can agree. really feel that. Okay, okay. And we and we, so we, we need be, one more. So I said, uh, Kodak, uh. And it's got to be me, of course. Oh, okay. Hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. It's got to be me, of yeah. course. I am not mad at that, man. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Bro, before we go ahead and introduce this record, man, let the world know how they can find you, man. Let them know what you got uh, coming up and how they can find you. Oh, uh, yeah, of course, man. We got more music on the way. You can um, reach at my handle on Instagram. That's at A underscore V I 70. And uh, on my Facebook app on the app, you can uh, check out some of my music on there. And uh, you can also check my music out on Spotify, iTunes, and all the, uh, all the platforms you might possibly name. Just look up A-V, 30s Baby, on, uh, on on Google, and it should pop up. You should see all my EPs. So, yeah, I got more on the way, man. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, music video on the way. Shout out to T-Rail. Shout out to the Bouncer. Shout out to the Real Kentucky Boy. And shout out to AP. Uh, how this countdown live for having me, man. I appreciate y'all. That's right, That's right, man. Yo, big shouts out to the big homie Kentucky boy for setting yeah. this up and making it happen, man. Listen, you got a solid dude in your corner uh, uh, when it comes to Kentucky. He always get these records on radio. I don't know how he do, he do what he do, but big shouts out to the boy <laughs> Kentucky for what making shows? it happen. So, AV, is there any final uh, thoughts, anything you want to let the people know uh, before you introduce this record? Uh, yeah, man. Stay tuned, man. Uh, you know, I'm uh, really pushing this record heavy. I guess be on the lookout for the video coming soon. You can check it out on uh, my YouTube. Also, if you want to pre-order the song, uh, my link should be in my bi- uh, in my bio. And you can uh, pre-order the song. And uh, yeah, man, just stay tuned. So without further ado, Oceans Go, I'm AV, go ahead and introduce this record, my guy. Yeah, man, it's your boy, AV. Uh, we we rocking with AP Hottest Countdown Live, and you about to be listening to Oceans featuring T Rail. It's lit. Let's go. Let's get it. Your boy AV Oceans, you got one, my guy. <laughs> 